Giving a loan to somebody without writing the loan or having witnesses will be pardoned if it is something insignificant, right? Something very little. But when it comes to a significant amount of money, then Allah the Almighty order that the debt should be recorded in writing and you should have witnesses. And this is stated in the longest ayah in the Quran in Surah Al-Baqarah. يَا أَيُّهَا الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا إِذَا تَدَايَنْتُمْ بِدَيْنٍ إِلَىٰ أَجَلٍ مُسَمَّنْ فَاكْتُبُوا So it requires two things, actually three. Number one, أَجَلٍ مُسَمَّنْ Determine for how long. Most of the problems erupt as a result of that somebody says, I gave somebody a loan and uh, he doesn't want to pay. The other person says, we, we didn't agree to a specific time. Or a schedule for the payment. So whenever I have, no, a daily musamma, a fixed term. I'm gonna pay in a few months, in a couple of years, whatever, and the payment will be as follows. Uh, then al kitaba to be recorded in writing. Nowadays it could be uh, notary public, it could be certified, uh, fingerprint, signature, and al ishad to have the witnesses in order to secure your rights. It doesn't mean that. You don't trust the person whom you gave him the loan, whether it's he or she. Rather, it's also that if that person dies, or if the debtor himself or herself dies, then the heir's rights will be maintained, whether here or there. Barakallah fiqi. Huda TV's social media sites are the best way to contact us from anywhere around the world. Stay connected with Huda TV's latest news and programs through Facebook, Twitter, Google+, YouTube, Skype, and Instagram. It's fast and easy. Stay up to date with your favorite shows and scholars today. Huda TV, a light in every home.